novel, the, the, there is a narrator, and the narrator is our contemporary, and this narrator is doing research in a, in a library, and, and, and his voice that, that is not, well, it was done by me, but, but he's not my voice, and, and his opinions are not my opinions. The, that character is, is relating all the time in the novel the, the past to the present in, in faint ways. No, I, I don't think that a novel should be given. I, I think that the, the 20th century was important in terms of, of creation, and I think that we discover many things in, in the 20th century, and there is not a single reason to, to keep writing 19th century novels in which the reader knows everything and, and everything is clear. No, I, I, I strongly believe that this sounds like a populist idea, but, but I really believe that the artist is the reader, not the writer. I, I think that I just display a map and, and full of gaps. And, and where art happens is where, when the reader fills those gaps with their, their own imagination and, and their own trouble and their own ways of being happy. So in that sense, <coughs> the, the, the novel goes back and forth from the past to the present and tells an imaginary story. You know, it is, it's Caravaggio and, and the Spanish poet Francisco de Quevedo ne never played tennis when, when Quevedo finally com was able to go to Rome. That was a dream of his. He, he, Caravaggio was already dead. And, and it is certainly not true that, that there were tennis balls made with the hair of Anne Boleyn or that Hernán Cortés used an scapulary made with the hair of Emperor Cuauhtémoc. But, but, but I think that, that, that the organicity of, of, of those elements let me work with metaphors of the contemporary world. Now the, the novel happens in October 1599 that, that, that is the transition between the 16th and the 17th century, and is in that moment precisely where, where the, the modern banking is invented, when, when the modern idea of what a nation should be is invented, is in that moment too when, when, when Europe begins to understand that maybe to do some treatises is a good idea because to spend all their life fighting is, is is not so smart, e even when they didn't achieve that until the 20th century. So, so I think that that period that is called for a reason by the historians, early modern times, speaks loads about the, uh, the contemporary world. And, and then there is this factor that, that, that is that Caravaggio killed a man, a soldier, and the pimp, Ranus, Ranusio Tomasoni, he, he killed him in a tennis court, and he was condemned to decapitation because of that by the Pope, as, as was usual in Rome. You know, it, it, those were very cruel times. And, and so he spent the second half of his career on the run with, with uh, by being condemned to decapitation. So he, his way of asking for the forgiveness of the Pope, that is something that was understood until very recently, was to make all these paintings about biblical figures of decapitation, in which the decapitated face could be his face, and he could send that to the Pope to ask for forgiveness. When, when, when that was discovered, it, it, it was very shocking, because Caravaggio is, is quite a recent discovery. He, no, no one knew who he was before 1910. All, all, all his paintings were attributed to, to other painters. So, so, so this idea of we finally know how he look, looks, but how he looked, but, but we know it because we have decapitated portraits of him, speaks loads about the contemporary violence in Mexico. Now, the, the, as, as you know, in, in, in Mexico, it's, it's a war is going on for the last 10 years. It's just that the international hypocrisy doesn't name it a war. They, they name it a police case, but, but it's not, it's just there, there is a war in Mexico. And that war began with the spectacle of, of decapitation, you know, the, the drug lords that, that formed this ultra-capitalist insurgency send their messages that way, you know, as, as, as the terrorists in the 70s, blue planes, you know, the, this new postmodern liberal or neoliberal ultra-rich 
toxic injured surgeons send their messages through decapitated heads. So the novel is, is, is really a meditation in, in contemporary violence and, and contemporary hypocrisy, even when it's set in the past. Well, I, I think that all writing is always political. I, I don't think that you can make fiction and, and subtract yourself from politics, and, and I think that if you do it, you are doing politics too, so there, there is no way out of that. And, and, and I think that, that my books, and particularly this one, it's a book about resistance. I, I think that the message could be that, no? we, we resist and, and, and because of that we are beautiful, we are still human.